Hello, it's us again here at Bobbin and Badger uh, working on our how-to videos and our tutorials to get you started with crochet. Now this is the third video in our how-to series and this is how we build upon the foundation chain that we learn how to do earlier. So I have my, my foundation chain, it's exactly the same one that was in the previous video. So you should be able to follow along with your crochet as well from this exact point. So in our foundation chain video, I created 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15 chains and one on my hook. So we are now going to build this up by using the UK double crochet stitch. Now it does get a bit confusing um, because the UK and the US terms are different and I know from experience that if you get it the wrong way around your project either ends up double the size or half the size. So we are going to work on the UK double crochet stitch, that's a DC stitch which in US terminology is a single crochet, just to confuse everybody. So we are now going to start working in the second chain from the hook. Okay, this comes up a lot, second chain from the hook, and that just means you've got a bit of wiggle room uh, and it's not too tight to try and get your hook into. So we are going to insert our hook into this second chain. That's one, that's two. So we're going to push our hook through there. So we've now got two stitches on our hook. We're going to yarn over and then we're going to use the hook to pull this here through this first loop like that. And then we still end up with two chains on our hook. So the final part of the stitch, we're going to yarn over again, use the hook and pull this new loop through those two and slide them off. And that is our first double crochet stitch. So we're going to do it again slowly. So we're now going to work in this next chain stitch here. We're going to push our hook through that stitch. We're going to collect the yarn, pull it through. So we have two loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and then use the hook to pull this stitch all the way through these two and they're going to slide off. So it does tend to be this first row can be a little bit holy, but don't worry about it, it all evens out. So we're now going to work the next chain, so we're going to go through, we're going to hook, we're going to pull two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through. So you can see the top of these stitches looks a little bit different to our foundation chain but we'll come on to that when we go back again. So hook through and grab, pull through, yarn over and then use the hook to pull that yarn through. So once you get going you can build up quite a nice little steady rhythm. Don't worry if this is going a bit fast for you yet, you can stop and start the video as many times as you like. So we're going through, collect, over and off. 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 And then we're going to do one more on the end. And that brings us to the end of our first row. Now, we have a single crochet in our foundation chain and we get this sort of plaited effect on the top there. Now this double crochet stitch is what we use here at Bobbin and Badger for all our toys and dolls because it's quite a compact stitch 
and when you get going you'll see that there's not many holes in it so it holds things like toy stuffing really really well so the double crochet stitch refers to how many loops are on your hook but it also depends on the height of the stitch so this double crochet here is quite a small stitch if we were to do a treble crochet it'd be a little bit longer and it would be a little bit floppier so if you're going to make a scarf sometimes the treble crochet stitch is nice just gives it a bit more flexibility so when we get to the end we're going to chain one just like we did in the other video so we're just yarn overing and pull through and that gives us just a little bit of height because we're now going to turn our work and we're going to go back the other way so in crochet we are always working from right to left rather than in knitting um, when you end up with hooks on both your needles crochet we only go this way so we're going through this time on this second row both of those stitches at the top so if you can see the little plait we're going to go through both of those so that little V shape is on our hook but we're going to do just the same we're going to get the yarn I'm going to pull it through we're going to go over again and we're going to pull it off so you just have to be careful with the second row and any more rows that you don't go through one part of the loop you have to go through both parts of that V it counts as one stitch but you have to go through both parts so then we'll yarn over the hook pull it through yarn over and off so we're going to go through collect over and off so if I just do a couple of these you'll be able to see what the work looks like so there we go so you can see the stitches that have been worked and the stitches that aren't worked yet and then you just carry on all the way to the end where you will chain one and turn again and it depends on the length of your foundation chain as to how quickly this will crochet up uh, if you've only got five stitches in your foundation chain it'll be super quick to get some sort of height on it if you've got 40 or 50 in your foundation chain because you're making a, a nice wide scarf it will obviously take you a little bit longer to complete each row but as long as you remember when you get to the end to chain one and turn you shouldn't go far wrong and after that turn it's always the first proper stitch that you're wanting to go through because that chain just gives you a little bit of wiggle room so that you can carry on and there you have it that is a double crochet UK double crochet stitch on top of a foundation chain and you will find that once you get practicing your work will grow in no time at all one of the reasons I love crochet it's so much quicker than knitting so much faster I'm very short of patience and it creates a really lovely pattern as you go so if thank you for watching the video if you've got pictures of anything you've created it'd be really good to see them so you can post them in the comments below or head over to bobbinandbadger.com uh, and have a look at all the resources and things that we've got going on over there thanks for watching bye